So for a dewlap to be effective in communicating, the receiver, the other individual, must be able to see the dewlap, and so it must stand out from its background. So imagine an anole living in the forest back there where it's darker. The dewlap has to be light to stand out against the dark background and to pick up the little light that is there. Now suppose an anole managed to colonize this island where it's much brighter. There it would need a darker colored dewlap to stand out against the bright background. And so in this way you might have a population that colonizes an island and it has to evolve its dewlap color so they can see each other. Another way the dewlap could change is if, a, say, a population in a lowland forest colonized a mountaintop. Now the environment is very different on the top of the mountain. It's probably shorter trees, it's probably more open, and so the light environment will be very different and that would favor a different colored dewlap. When those species come together, they don't breed with each other, but they do compete for resources. And so they begin to adapt to different parts of the environment to minimize competition.